Tuesday here on Kauri. Ah, I'm so excited to come away again, you know. And I don't know, please, are you keeping safe? Please do, because, well, people think it's over. It's not totally over. Yes, it will, but until then, please keep safe. Stay at home if you are going nowhere. COVID is real, very real. Eat well, wash your hands with soap and running water. And then use a sanitizer. Don't forget your marks when you're stepping out. It's very, very important to us. And this Tuesday was today. Today is the day we get to celebrate wonderful people in our life. It's celebration day. So celebrate every wonderful person in your life. Say hi to that special person in your life. Let them know you appreciate them. Don't wait till it's their birthday or something or when they die before you celebrate them. Please do is very very important all right so today is personality profile day and then another amazing person is here on the show in fact a wonderful one and we're going to discuss a whole lot of things today that you don't want to miss out so please stay tuned sit in your chair we'll be right back after this short music break please don't go anywhere my name is nana kusi <laughs>
And yes, it is the first private school or university to have a presidential chartered what? Yes, it is. In fact, one of the best of the private universities you can think of when you come to Ghana. And I'm so excited to have today, if I had the one taking care of the school that we all love so much, Professor, our other professor, and I'll give you the title too, mm -hmm. <laughs> Vice Chancellor mm -hmm. Professor Daniel <coughs> Bidiakon. Yes, he's with us today. Hello, Prof. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. How about you? I'm doing so well. Great. I was expecting you to be, you know, suits. Most of the time you see our vice chancellors in the, in the suits and then the tie and, and smoke. You know, any time I'm in suit or tie, I choke. You choke? Yes. I, 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 I prefer wearing the local, you know. No, the, yes, I feel this is better. You're sounding but like course, someone I know. I'll mention his name, but actually. But of course, there are places <laughs> that... Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I do wear some suits. So I have a few of them. So depending on the occasion. Depending on the occasion. So I, your I fashion do. taste or your but sense for fashion. I don't really have... I don't have any taste for fashion, but... I mean, if, 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 if there's a gathering, you know, depending on the gathering, uh, you have to do. But, but often, mostly... I, I you want smoke. to go the normal way. Yes, yes. All right, that's yeah. why. <laughs> okay, so waking up today, you know, what did you do? It's most of the time when people wake up after praying and they think about other stuff they want to do for the day. When you woke up, what actually came to mind? Or what did you intend to do? You, you mean today? Yes. Well, today when I woke up, well, normally uh, as soon as we wake up, you know, I, I normally wake up late, maybe seven, that about. Oh, seven. Seven is a bit early. Uh, yeah. Well, it's not that early. So <laughs> I, I, I call the family. We, 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 all, we all pray. So and is it a regular it. thing you regular. do, like a morning every day, devotion? Every day. We okay. do a morning devotion, mostly prayer. But today I was thinking about my ear. I have, I think I have some, I don't know, whether some infection in the ear or something. So uh, that has kept me up. Uh, worrying <laughs> this day. But I'm fine. You're doing well. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm fine. Okay, so the thought of you coming, because we are, I hope they didn't scare you off. Scare me for what? I, in fact, at some point, I forgot I was coming here. I think, uh, is it uh, Mr. Hammond? Mm -hmm. uh, he, 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 prof, this is the day, so <laughs> you can work, it's okay. I will come. Uh, that, that, that and you, you're cool with it? Yes, I'm All fine. right. So, Professor yeah. Daniel Bidiakon. The name is a very heavy name because it comes with its own brand. But we know that it started from somewhere. Yeah. You just didn't become the Vice Chancellor for Valuvi University. How did it all start for you? Well, uh, you, want, you want me to tell you what? Well, yes, growing from up. Bali View, yes, from, from growing up, how it was for you. Ah, that is a long journey. You know, people people often say that it is uh, you know I'm a young, but it, it, you know it, it made news. There was news. The whole yes, the Ghana, youngest, the youngest the vice chancellor. But I was I was thirty nine. Thirty nine is not young, you know. Oh, it is. You know, yeah. most of the time, um, vice chancellors are given to know, older know, people. Anyway, anyway, well. Although I am young, I have really, I have gone through some, some times, some hard mm -hmm. times, actually. Uh, I, I come from a village. Now it's a town, you know. I, when, I was, when I was young, it was a village. Now it's, it's a town mm -hmm. in the Bono region now. And um, I really never had a vision of life. I mean, what... Like you, people getting up one day and plan like, okay, so in future, this is what I, I really want to want become to do. a medical doctor. I want to. No, I, I never had any of this. I don't know why. I, I went to school because my parents asked me to go to school, and I never even any time they asked me, so what do you want to be in the future? So, I, you know, I don't know. 
At some point, I wanted to be, I, I wanted to just roam about the entire nation, Ghana, to know every town and, and city, so I can tell people that I know this place, I know that place, and learn the languages, all the languages in Ghana. That was my, maybe, that's something I wanted to do. But at some point, because I used to argue a lot, people began to say, well, you can be a lawyer. A lawyer, yeah. I said, no, I can't be a lawyer. I mean, I, I can't speak well. So the lawyers must be able to speak well, you know. But although I never had a vision for myself, my parents did. Mm -hmm. In fact, I was born, according to the story, I was born six years after my parents married. And that was a tough time. Well, it's a lucky child. You are my a grandmother, my, 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 my mother's mother, I actually came and took my mother for my father because no, no, no child was coming. And so they went to, to the, the camp meeting and then they, they prayed that if God gave them the child or children, their first child, if it's a, it's a boy, it would be a pastor. Then a year later, I was born. Mm -hmm. So while I was struggling, with myself, what, what can I do, what can I, wha 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 I mean, what will I do in the future? My parents kept telling me, you'll be a pastor. And I never liked that idea. I never ever, you know, wha why didn't you like the idea? The, because I couldn't talk well. You know, when pastors came to my village, they were talking fluently, but I couldn't speak well. You know, I could stammer a lot. Okay. So why should God wants someone who cannot talk. Oh, to probably, you know, Moses, Moses and Well, I, I knew all this, but I, I will find my own uh, ways to do. Mm -hmm. So actually, I, uh, after high school, I wanted to go to Cape Coast University. I actually began, those days we were writing uh, exams. But when did you attend your high school? I attended high school. I think school during your time it was secondary. Presbyterian school. A school, uh, secondary school at Sampa. Sampa. Yes. That's uh, Bono Yes, uh, Bono, uh, now it's Bono, it's Bono. Bono yes. region. <laughs> and so that's where I attended high school. That, that, that time we did actually senior secondary school. Yeah. So, but you know, my, my father said, no, you cannot go to Cape Coast University. You, um, you, you, must, you must just go to Valley University because I made a promise. You must go and fulfill it. And so I had no choice to go to Valley University. And there, you know, God has his own ways of doing things. Mm -hmm. well, at Valley View University, actually, I still wanted to run away from, from becoming a pastor, but uh, more or less I was forced into it. So when I was about to graduate, I mean, I mean the, the, the final semester, I was asked to, 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 to teach, to, to help uh, a faculty, one, one of our faculty members, to teach, you know, when was that? 2001. 2001. So I became a tea, teaching assistant, even before I, 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 I finished. I, I could I tell that you graduated. were very intelligent. Well, uh, maybe I was. Because <laughs> it was. takes an intelligent yeah. person to have that kind of position. Maybe I was. So before I graduated, yes, as soon as I graduated, they said they were going to sponsor me to help my master's and PhD and then come back to teach. And that's how I, I remained at Valley View University. Mm -hmm. at Valley View University. Yeah. So yeah. through all those period, even before you became the vice chancellor, yeah. you've been through Syria. I learned you've traveled to Philippines. Yeah, and yeah. We just want to have that experience. You traveling, going there, and all that happened over there. You know, just a few months before I was asked to go to the Philippines with, with my friend, best friend, uh, P P Professor Becci, I had vowed that I would never sit in an airplane because I'm, a, I mean, already. You're scared of heights? I'm, 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 I, I'm actually scared of height. Just two months later, I was asked to go to the Philippines, far away from Ghana. Yeah. And I had no choice, so we went. Experience in the Philippines was not that, that easy. You know, they will look at your skin and uh, try to smell your body whether it's, it's dead or, or something else. But 
we were joking. So it's fine. We, we, struck, we, uh, we stayed at for I stayed at for about six and a half years for masters and PhD. What were you studying there? I studied the Old Testament. Yeah, that was what I was, uh, that was what I was actually going to study. That's from that. Genesis. To the very yes, end. the Genesis to, to Malachi. Of course, it's, it's, you don't just read it, you know. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. Um, looking at it from um, Genesis to Malachi, yes. and the experience with studying those um, scriptures, Yeah. how was it like? You know, reading the Bible as... Um, any individual looks a bit difficult. Yeah, you see, the Bible is actually removed from us in, in several ways. For example, the language itself is not our language. Even, even the language in which the Bible is written, in the Old Testament especially, it, it, it is not the Hebrew that they speak now in, in, in Israel. It's an ancient, the ancient Hebrew. And the culture is also different. And so there's a need for us to study other things, the, the history, the culture, and the language, and so you can better understand. We only try to understand it. You know, uh, uh, nobody fully understands the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, looking at your background, you've been a professor of um, the Testament, Old Testament language. Yeah. Know. And you reading it so well, you know who at all are you? You know, it's the reason why I'm hitting on that point is because it's it's something that it's very um, rare. You hardly hear people go through that process. No, it it, it is. I mean, there are there are several there are there are I would say many people in in, in 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 that area, you know. So talking about you know Ghana, you. You talk of you and your friend being the only two people who were sent to actually study there. No, I mean from from Bali View. There are several Old Testament scholars here in Ghana. Yeah, you know it. It is, you know, uh, you have to you have to study Hebrew at least. So you can speak the Hebrew language. I don't speak Hebrew as they speak it in, in, in Israel. As, as I said, I studied the ancient Hebrew. You know, the, the Hebrew in which the, in the Old Testament was written. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you don't have to speak it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you study it, you understand the, the grammar, how it actually works. Yeah. So All right. Uh, yeah. So please, viewer, we are still reminding you that you can join in this discussion. Your comments and your questions are very important to us through our WhatsApp line 0559680066. And you can watch us live because you're streaming live on Facebook. And you can subscribe. Hit on the subscribe button. That's YouTube, Hope TV Ghana. Facebook, Hope TV Ghana. Like our page and follow us on Instagram, Hope TV Ghana. Today we are here with... Professor Daniel Bidiakon, the Vice Chancellor of Valley View University, and we are learning a lot today. All right, Prof. Yes. So, um, aside from moving from Philippines, mm -hmm. coming back to Ghana to help Valley View University, that change of environment, comparing that state and then that of Value the university. Do you see any kind of difference? Of, of course, you know. Coming it, it, coming back in 2009, I, mean, I, will, I returned in 2009, my family. And um, at that time, I mean, the, the, the university has grown since then. So it, 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 it hasn't been the same, of course. So, but uh, of course, the, the same culture. Mm -hmm. That we have an university yeah, actually pr 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 it, it, it there now. So, but uh, I don't know what you really want to mean. But 2009, when we returned, mm -hmm. you know, I, I we I began to teach full time in the in in our department. Then I think up to 2012, I became a, a dean of the graduate school. Mm -hmm. Then after a year or two, I became acting pro vice chancellor 
then acting vice chancellor, then vice and chancellor. And then finally. And so that is, that is how it, it, it came. Okay, so we go yeah. through that um, stages and okay. how the experience have been. But you know, you've been a pro when it comes to Hebrew. Mm -hmm. um, for some time now, um, we've had a couple of people who have come on board. We've heard a lot of rumors about um, one particular word in Hebrew. And we want you to clear the air for us. So okay. I will actually read from here, not to make any mistake. Okay. That is um, Yeshua Hamashiach. If I'm getting the word right. Yeshua Hamashiach. Yeah. You see, I've, I've heard that I mean, people have even asked me questions. What should be the name of Jesus? Yes. Before I say anything, let me say that. You see, we don't need to split hairs over how to call Jesus or God or the Holy Spirit. Languages, I mean, we, we don't speak Hebrew, we don't speak Aramaic, we don't speak Greek, mm -hmm. but he, 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 we must mention his name also. Yeah. So the, the struggle, uh, uh, what, uh, what is Jesus' name? Which it's not mm -hmm. important. It is the person behind that name and what he has done for us is what is important. Of course, you know, Yeshua. Mm -hmm. The name is one name, it's also two. You know, it, in a Greek form, Jesus, the mm -hmm. Greek form is Jesus. So our, the local language is Jesus, Jesus. Yes, it's yes, closer yes. to the Greek form, yeah. Jesus. But that Greek term, Jesus, is a transliteration of the Hebrew Yehoshua or Yeshua. You know, in the first time this name occurs is in Numbers, Numbers 13. Mm -hmm. The man called Joshua. Before he was re renamed by Moses Joshua, he was called Hoshia. Hoshia means savior, the one who saves or the one who causes us to, 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 to save. Probably Moses felt that that guy cannot uh, be, the be the savior. So yeah. let me change his name to Yehoshua. Yehoshua means Yahweh saves. So he is not the guy who saves, but it's, it's, it's Yahweh who saves. And so that is the thing. And it, the Greek translation of, of, the, of, of, of the Old Testament uses the word Jesus. That is what we find in the, in the end in, in, in the New Testament, Jesus. But later, the same name, Yehoshua, is also Yeshua. It is the later form of Yehoshua. Mm -hmm. That was after the exile, during and after the exile, mostly. Mm -hmm. So Yehoshua becomes Yeshua. And in, in, I think in, in, in Nehemiah chapter 8, Josh, uh, Yehoshua, Joshua, is called Yeshua. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that a sh short form. Nehemiah was written after the exile. So we, the, the, there's no big deal. In, in, in the New Testament, for example, Joshua is called Jesus. Jesus. And the name Jesus was common in, 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 uh, even in the time of. That's why mostly Jesus has to be given another term like uh, Jesus of Nazareth. Mm -hmm. There are other Jesuses. But he is he's the one you're referring to. So I, I don't think there is a need to, to, to say that we must pronounce the Hebrew or the, uh, you know, the, the Aramaic version of the name. But the other word, the uh, Mashiach, mm -hmm. okay, Mashiach means the anointed, okay, or one who is anointed. Oh, Kings mm -hmm. were anointed. Every king yeah. was anointed. Mm -hmm. And Jesus also was anointed. So Joshua, the anointed one, that is Jesus. You see, someone argued, let me yes. use myself as an example. Yes. When yes. I travel to Israel yes. right now, yes. I'm Nanakusia. Okay. Definitely they are going to call me Nanakusia. Yes. They wouldn't give me another form of name. Yes. The same with you. So why don't you... Uh, Nebuchadnezzar. Yeah. It is, if you go to, in Israel, um, the that's not his name. The real name is Navukuduri Utsur. 
But he, okay. he probably gives us uh, he, the oldest man. Uh, difficult. Is it yes. that it's, make it simple. it's been modified? It, it is difficult to, to pronounce, so it has to be made simple. So, yes, the name is important, yeah. but we don't have to, to split hairs. I will call Jesus. I mean, did Jesus call himself Jesus? No. Mm -hmm. what, 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 what name did he give to himself? The son of man. Yeah. So, uh, just to tell you that, mm -hmm. that Hebrew, the Aramaic form, is not that which is important. Yeah. Okay, so before we continue, I learned that, you see, the reason why I said you're very intelligent to get that position of a TA ah. before you even travel to Philippians. Because it takes someone who's intelligent to be moved from class to class, you know, because that's what I, I learned. That you were being, they say jump. Oh, jump, in uh, those days you call it <laughs> jump. Yes, yes actually. Jump. Yes, actually. You know, my father was, uh, let me see, a head teacher in my village. I started schooling at age six. There was no cake in the garden in my village. So the first day I went to uh, P1, the mm -hmm. primary one, I think I spent an hour there. And I was taken to primary two. They gave, they gave me a quiz or something like, they wanted to take me to primary three the same day. My father said, no, that's not possible. I must stay in primary two. But I don't remember attending primary, primary five or, or one, yeah. Primary three, my uncle was a teacher. He made me join primary five pupils, and I topped. So he wanted me to go to primary six, but still my father said no. I mean, I, I was too young to even go to, to primary six. So that's what happened. But you know, uh, you see, when you say somebody's intelligent, it is, it is very vague. Everybody is intelligent. Mm -hmm. But we have different areas. So uh, I don't want to say that somebody is intelligent or something. We, we are all. Intelligent. We all are intelligent. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I think that adds up to you being the youngest vice chancellor in, in terms of age. Well, I didn't go and look for, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I, I don't know the ages of those, but of course, mostly. You see, to become a vice chancellor, you must have the rank. And you must have the experience. Of course, sometimes age is experience, but not every age is experience. You must have been maybe a, 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 a head of department, a dean or something to, 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 to grow into that office. And someone may be there and has never been a dean or so. So in that regard, you have more experience. Is, is, is it a point? So it's not about, you know, maybe someone, a vision. I, I never had a vision to maybe become a, a vice chancellor. That is, that is something that I, I want to do. Yeah, but there some circumstances. So what's yeah. the nature of your job, being a vice, like a vice chancellor for an university? You know, a vice chancellor is the person responsible for the running of the institution. The person that the governing council holds responsible. We place you here to make sure that the university runs. So if anything good or bad, Everything comes <laughs> to the vice chancellor. So he invests. Some people say he's the CEO, mm -hmm. the chief executive officer. That basically, that, that that's it. Yeah. Your job says it all that you're a busy person. So how do you, do you even have time for your family? Because you're a married man with kids. Yes, I. I you know, I must say that the kids. I'm more used to, to your mother than, than to me. You know, I sometimes, you know, one time I was, you know, always I was telling them I'm busy, I'm busy. You know, so one time I was talking to, you know, the, the, the boy was talking to the girl and says, I'm busy, I'm busy. Then I realized that, no, this girl wants to copy me. So <laughs> let, let me stop being busy. So I stopped using that word. 
But I must say that my children are, are such a blessing. They don't create troubles. You know, I really enjoy being with them. They are, but they are very frank. They will tell you exactly what, what, what they think. And we are fine. Said your kids don't create troubles. Yes. Like it's ringing a bell in my in my mind. It doesn't mean that you created problems. I I, I used yeah. to be troublesome. I used to be very troublesome, but I stopped at some point. You know, you know when you are growing, you 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 have to change. You have to change. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For the best. So yes. you mentioned that you write. We know that you have some books to your name. Oh. How do you make time out of your busy schedule as a vice chancellor to write all those books? You know, the writing or editing is, is a passion I have. So I, I once said that the daytime is for the office of the vice chancellor, and the nighttime is for me as author <laughs> or editor. So when I, when I close some work, Sometimes deep in the night, uh, I do, I write. So that, that's what uh, normally I do. Dear. Yeah. All right, so there's time for everything. Yes. As Vice Chancellor would say, all right, so it's getting interesting, but let's go for the short music break. Okay. We'll be right back. Please don't go anywhere. Welcome back from the break. You've just joined. It's currently our today. We have with us Professor Daniel Bediakun, 
Send in your questions and comment, please, for that is very, very important to our WhatsApp line 0559 0559 And then you can watch us live on Facebook, that's Hope TV Ghana, on YouTube, Hope TV Ghana. Follow us on Instagram, Hope TV Ghana. I really, really appreciate that very well. Puff. Yes. So you see, hmm. Today I talked of today being a celebration, you know, celebrate people, your loved yeah. ones. Most of the time we go like, we love you. When was the last time you told someone, I love you? Not your mom. Yeah, my wife. Just, uh, I think yesterday or so. That's your wife? Yes. And it was the first time. You also said, I love you. I don't mean the first time mm -hmm. I, I s thought I, 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 I never said it. <laughs> I, I the last remember. time was yesterday, but the first time you never. I mean, you know, I don't know, maybe because of where I, I was raised, you know, it's a very heavy word. Uh, I love you, you know. Not, not bad, but, you know. I, I Is it because know. of how you value love? You just don't want to... Not necessarily, I, but I'm not used to that. To, to, to that. So normally, uh, some prefer actions in two words. Maybe that has, yes, that's what's that. maybe, 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 let me say so. So, but it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> there was a time where I really found, I, I mean, I couldn't say I love you, actually. It was too heavy to say but maybe i don't know i know uh particularly you know mean not for your wife because me asking um when the first time you say i love you to someone you were sounding i don't think you were referring to your wife right no i mean the first i, I don't remember the first time i said i said right. this i don't remember and i uh, yeah I, I just can't remember so meeting your wife when time how did you even go back? Oh, okay. You know, I met my wife when I was just about to, to leave for the Philippines. About a few months, she came to the university. And I was a TA. I met her at the cafeteria, you know. That is what the paint. Then we became friends. I traveled and were in touch. Then at some point, we got married, and, and we, 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 we were there in the Philippines together. Oh, so you moved with her? Yes. So you got married here no, before? I, no, I got there before I, I got married. Yeah. You get to that marriage stage, because if you got there before you got married. Yes. So meaning you couldn't even say, I love you to her. In the first I, I said it in different ways. Yeah. Share with us. You don't have, I, I could, I, I don't remember, I don't remember telling her I love you openly, but my actions and, and uh, care tells you that I love you. So that is a situation. But I cannot tell, the, you know, your question, I, I cannot tell when I first <laughs> said I, I love you, someone and that. So All right. <laughs> you, have, <laughs> you have to change the topic. <laughs> okay. So to hit yeah. on just before we yeah. move to the next question, you yeah. spoke of you moving there before the whole yeah. thing happened. Mean you were there and it was done for you in your name. Yes, that, that's what happened. And yes. you were comfortable with that. You know, most people uh, don't actually I am talk. very comfortable. You see, I am very comfortable with that. Marriage, as I understand it, is between families, right? Yeah. It's between families. So when families agree and whatever things they they require, mm -hmm. you perform. That, that that's it. That is marriage. You know. Uh, other people define marriage in, in different ways, but I don't. You don't. Yeah. For you, it's it's about the family. It's about you loving the person. And, and in your right own way, done. and the right thing is done. Yeah, that's all, all right. right. So that's Professor Daniel Spoon. Yeah, for him, that's exactly. <laughs> 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 all right. So you yeah. are tagged. See, 
I'm interested in that side of Hebrew. Well, how do the Hebrew connect? That's the Old Testament mm -hmm. to the coming of Jesus Christ, the second coming of Jesus Christ. The Old Testament is very particular. In fact, the Old Testament moves towards Christ's coming. Mm -hmm. Everything moves towards his, his coming. Right from Genesis chapter 3. Well, of course, when uh, Adam and Eve goofed up, you know, and uh, God says, there will be enmity, but the seed of the woman mm -hmm. shall have a power, the seed of the serpent. That, that was a promise of hope. And that is, is, is fulfilled in Christ. And the Old Testament was, so uh, it's, it's, I mean, uh, throughout the prophet, you know, Isaiah is very, very clear, even how Christ would suffer. And so the whole Old Testament is actually moving towards the, the, the coming of Christ. And that is exactly what happened. So when he came, he also referred to the Old Testament scriptures. Uh, this is what was said about me. So th that, is, that is how it is. All right, so we're moving back. So we're trying to, you yeah. know, blend with what you know, and then the school in general. Yes. So we're moving to value view. School, yes. So you were a student there. Yeah. Then you became a TA. Yeah. Traveled, came back as a lecturer, and then you're now a vice chancellor. How do you see the school now? The university... Let me tell you, maybe people may, may, may not be sure what, you know, some people feel, think that maybe I, I had it very, very easy. I had, mm -hmm. I had life easy, but yeah. Being a student I struggled more than, more than anyone can imagine. At in, 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 during our time in the university, at that, that, that time, initially when I came to just college, Valley View College, I was at some point the poorest person on the ground. You know, sometimes from, I think, uh, from second year, even payment of fees was a big issue. At some point, I, I could come to school one month into the semester. Sometimes even, I mean, the money to, to, to use for transport from my village here was, was a challenge. But, I just decided to, to, to do no. The only thing was that I didn't have any problem with, with the books. My only problem was the money. And uh, strangely, at some point, somebody paid my fees. And I do not know the person till now. So during those times, did you wish at least there was um, some kind of discount or a way to help people N that caliber? You know, I never thought about that. I knew that the institution had, had to survive. So why should I want my fees to, <laughs> wh wh I mean, why shouldn't I want to pay fees? Uh, but I was blaming my parents. At some point, I, I got frustrated. I wanted to leave the university mm -hmm. and go and become, I just do anything I wanted to do. But somehow, I stayed on. And that is, that is what I want to, to encourage others. Uh, whatever situation you find yourself in, well, it, 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 it may be difficult. But if you stay and course, you will surely get through. You know, so I made, I made a, a, a statement the day of my graduation. I said that. If I was able to complete Valley View, even an, an aunt can graduate too. Not, um, I mean, not I mean about money, financial mm -hmm. situation. So, so I, I really uh, struggled in school. So during those times, were you wishing there were certain things that you could have changed in the university? That now that you're a vice chancellor, you've implemented? Well, uh, I don't want to talk about too much about uh, this is a personality 
interview, <laughs> not not uh, university, You've been a vice university chancellor. <laughs> So you mean a vice chancellor? I, I think you have a greater hand. I won't like say an much, hand on, but yeah. I must say that, and uh, I'm not, I'm not happy saying this, that w because we have the numbers, you know, now Valley is still the, the largest uh, uh, private investor in, yes, in Ghana. We we have actually slacked in in some areas in our, our values discipline you know when i was in school at the time even even if if your money dropped somewhere they'll come they'll come out pick it and say i found money somewhere here so go on. but today well i don't we, we don't hear much but i'm not sure that today if your money you left your money somewhere you <laughs> will find <laughs> it <laughs> maybe because of the numbers of course in yeah. the every every community yeah. when, when yeah. the numbers are increasing you find it so uh, d every every period has its own challenges. So I, I wouldn't want to say that I wish we could do this or we could change that. Every 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 context has, has, has its own own, 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 own ch challenges. But there was a very good spirit at the time I, I was schooling. Students cared for their fellow students mm -hmm. so much. But now y you don't see it much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, 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 I remember uh, any time I stayed home without coming to school early, people would be talking about me, calling, praying up for me and other mm -hmm. things, you know, and wh when I came to school, they were all happy, hey, he's here, he's come, you know. So th that is the situation. <laughs> I hope I was able to evade your question. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, you're able to <laughs> evade, but that's what that's what I'll ask. Okay. Just to us, but let me read um, those few questions we've had so far, okay. and then we'll move. If on. it's difficult, I will not answer. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I'm sure you can answer them. Go ahead. Our prof, God bless you, prof. We were pl um, okay. So let me paraphrase it. Um, we were privileged to sit under your feet to learn. That's Yao Asante. Quite, I don't know if you know him. I yeah, think I, I remember a name of that sort, but I don't really okay. know. Okay. So, Mark Enum Nauti, Prof, there are schools of thought that advance the argument that the Old Testament allows polygamy and monogamy was a recent addition to the Bible. What are your thoughts on this? Uh, this is, you know, I don't know who, who asked this question, but you see. Okay, this is coming from Mark Enum Nauti. Monogamy is what the Bible teaches. Okay? Mm. Polygamy grew out of human culture. Mm. Israelite culture is not a culture that Christians must follow. We have to be very clear. Culture and the Bible are not the same. The fact that people, some people in Israel or some pe persons in the Old Testament married more than one does not mean that we, we, we should also, we are, we are allowed to marry more than one. I want that to be very clear. Maybe the person wants to, you know, I, I wrote a paper some time ago, to 2009 or so, uh, saying some things, but I wanted to be clear here. The Bible does not teach polygamy. Yes, the Bible, even, even, even uh, where we say that the Bible was not so, so strict in, in banning uh, polygamy, the kind of trimming that we find in the Old Testament shows that the God was not happy uh, when people married more than one. Mm. Yes. So th there's an element of culture, but the uh, biblical teaching uh, is, 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 is away from polygamy. Yeah. Right. But uh, they can go to my, maybe, uh, ac academia page and, and read a paper that I wrote about mission. My, what I said was that if we maybe go to, uh, to preach somewhere and the person's mm -hmm. already married, I don't personally see any problem in actually baptizing them. I don't see any biblical injunction against that. Th that is different from, from, from saying that the Bible teaches that we, we, should, we should marry more than one.
Yeah. To such a person, it's okay to come in with that. That, that, that was an opinion I, I expressed, expressed. But, but not, not the church's opinion. Okay. Yeah. All right, so the yeah. next question said, who said he can't speak Hebrew that much? Prof speaks it three, a VVU student. Okay, the person didn't have the name. <laughs> <laughs> Monikaya Mauta, one of the mortals. I've met that I love. He and Betsy made me enjoy studying theology. Uh, All right, so Malikaya says, thank you. Uh, um, again, from Mark, Prof, they ask who's okay, so that is a repeated question. Could you ask Prof, what is his highest advice to upcoming youth on marriage? Marriage? Okay, I think I've had some experience in marriage, maybe how many years? Maybe 14 years of marriage. The challenge I see with people now entering marriage is that I mean, the entry point mm. is not often good. The so-called wedding. We have to divorce the wedding ceremony from marriage. Why? Why I'm saying this is this. You see, People, I know one or two persons who went to the bank to, to secure facility alone, alone. Mm. to go and stage a wedding, to go and do, have a wedding. And just after the, the wedding, things began to collapse. What you need is your family, his or her family, and the pastor. Pray, pastor praying for um, uh, invoking God's blessings on the people. And that's all. You, you don't need to have a wedding. I would discourage everyone attempting or intending to have a wedding. It is not necessary. You, we, we have a form that we call a blessing. Mm -hmm. Probably that is the best. So the marriage can take place in the home, they can do it, the families can meet and do it. Then you should go to church, two minutes the pastors pray for you, and they sign the, 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 the marriage certificate. So I will say that this is an advice uh, I, I really w w w want, to, uh, want to share. They, they, they shouldn't spend, they, sh they, should, they should focus on one day marry thing that will happen, not prior to the marriage. Wording does not define the value of someone. You have a value, and that value, God put that value in you. Hmm. So that's one thing. And also, they shouldn't dream that there will never be challenges in marriage. Anyone who dreams that, um, even if you are, you, are <laughs> you are humanly an angel, friction, as long as we are male and female, yeah. frictions will occur sometimes unintentionally and mostly too. So my advice is that love your partner as yourself. And that's fine. But the wedding ceremony, I will fight against it. AJ hey, Bonner, <laughs> please, yeah. said, you've heard what Paul <laughs> said. Please, just, I don't know. You take something. All right, so someone asked, yeah. That the youth, you know, who for taught, that the youth of today are deteriorating as compared to the old. What should you tell them that? Once a person says deteriorating, uh, I don't know what he or she means. But you see, times change. Today, the things children know. Mm -hmm. We did not know. The things my children know, 13 and 12, almost 12, the things they know now, this age, I did not know. What we need to do is to encourage them to use their gifts. But we shouldn't shut them up. Like if the child wants to, 
to, to express himself or herself, we shouldn't shut them down, let them express themselves. We could not do that. I am still young, but I couldn't do that. <laughs> yeah. That, you know, I, I was I was stubborn, so I, I I could do, but not ev you know not all could do. So we mean the we, we we may have to define what we mean by deteriorate. Being uh, exposed to social media. Uh, social the media is it is it the children who who create it? If we create it and it's available to them, you cannot blame them, right? So if there's anyone to blame, we must take it. But parents have to be careful, sure that children do not cross the, 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 the boundaries. And that's fine. Social media is good, but you can use it in the wrong way, like any other thing else. So I would say that uh, we should find ways to raise our children well. Ah, that's it. <laughs> but you cannot go back. Mm -hmm. There's no way we can reverse the time to say, okay, the children are behave go back. Go back as we used time. to behave. Yeah. I used to go to, to, to the, the stream every morning to carry water on my head. There's no stream here in a cry for children to go and, and carry. So what do you want them to do? <laughs> See? What's yeah. your view on African politics and then Ghana politics? Politics? Yeah. I don't want to talk politics because once one, two, 2017, I made one or two statements and the way people insulted me, hey, that was <laughs> terrible. <laughs> but I, was terrible. I, my father was a politician, not a politician in, 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 okay. in the line. He was a village champion. He was a strong uh, politician, MPP a guy. Yeah, when he died, he all the many people came from the district. Mm -hmm. But I am not, I don't, I'd, I'm interested in the progress of Ghana and Africa. I am a local person. But one thing I, ha I have seen is that we have to begin to speak the truth, S even if it is to our own hurt. And I think that is something we have to, we have to learn. Yeah. You know, I made a statement if, if you a few months ago that the reason we have descended law in Africa is that we have come to value the person by the space they occupy. You know, we talk about position, possession, pedigree, and mm -hmm. profession. Mm -hmm. if, if, I'm, if, I'm, if I'm a big guy, people will respect me. We have to find a way to change that. You don't need to occupy so much space for the people to see you, but we must serve our people. Whatever we can, we must do it. And that is where our real value is. So what do you have for the next gen in fact, this generation, and mm -hmm. in case there should be a next generation? You know, the, um, I'm still within this generation, and maybe the next. But what I will say is this, that whatever they want to do, they should focus on doing it. Nothing must stop anyone from achieving their goal. I didn't have any goal in life. My parents had one for me. Not everyone will do for, for the children. But while they focus on their goals, they must be of service wherever they are. Mm -hmm. You know, God created us to be useful to fellow human beings. You cannot serve God. Yeah. You must serve God through your fellow human beings. How much can you sing to glorify God when uh, angels are singing that? Can you cook food and go and give to God to eat? No, no. not at all. So do it. And that is where, you know, the people fighting against each other, you know, destroying people with their, 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 their words. That is something that we must discourage. Our time is yeah. past by, but I want oh. you. <laughs> past past by, you see? <laughs> yes, yes, but I want to know some things more before we actually yes. leave. Okay. You're a songwriter. You've songwriter? Written, yeah, you, you, ah. you compose a lot of songs. Not a lot of songs. I compose some, some, some songs. 
Uh, at least, can you give us uh, a freestyle of one of them? I, I cannot sing now. <laughs> what I do, you know, I don't play the keyboard. Mm -hmm. I know which key to play, but I don't. Uh, my, my, my finger cannot go there. But my my kids are able to play. But I harmonize the songs from my head and put it on the score, and and it moves fine. Mm. Yeah, maybe one day I will uh, send you. I will put one of my songs somewhere. <laughs> I want to hear you sing. But I cannot <laughs> sing now. You know, I, I, I used to sing bass, you know, but now my my voice is dead and gone. Oh, pro. Yeah. Next time. Next time I'll sing. <laughs> All right. So yeah. let, me, let me just finish this up and yeah. then we leave. Clifford Abbey, that's my man. Edward Reddy, please ask him this question for me concerning who wrote the book of Isaiah. Oh, a time. But okay, because there are lots of speculations that it wasn't only Isaiah who wrote it by himself, but others wrote some. I know a time as far as spent. Prof would definitely give you the response we forwarded to you, my dear Prof. One from the wedding distress pocket, traditional marriage noir all the way. Another VVU student. Uh. Prof, I love your view on marriage. Tell the ladies by Philip. Good evening. Please, can you ask Prof whether they have some help for people looking for admission into VVU, especially Adventists? I'm David from Wa. The last one, Akosia. We want to be the next vice chancellor. Any motivation? Okay. <laughs> so, another <laughs> VVU <used> student. <laughs> okay, so I think Good. just um, summarize this for us the admission and then. Uh, yes. A little advice for that. Students who wants to be the next vice You know, the admissions, uh, mm -hmm. actually, maybe before then, maybe ju just a minute. The issue of the, the question of Isaiah, the first Isaiah, second Isaiah, mm -hmm. third Isaiah, it is not an issue. It's so those who believe, who, who think that Isaiah cannot prophesy at that point, the, the coming of the, the people of Babylon to take mm -hmm. Israel, those are the mm -hmm. ones who say, good, let's cut it from, from 40 down. But it's not necessary. Okay. It's Isaiah, the son of Amos, okay. he, he's, he's the author of the, of the book. Now, the the issue of uh, the value view the admissions yes mm -hmm. there is the church the seventh day Adventist church has 10 percent waiver for all seventh day Adventists. Yeah, people say they find it difficult going through that long process it but there are a lot of process it is not the university that give that 10 percent it is a church okay so they must you must they must find a way to verify that you you are, you are a church member so it's not a long process if you are paying maybe two thousand and they are going to waive maybe 200 or something for you and just fill a form, you, you, you should be able to do that. I mean, is it from the local church? Yeah, I think uh, they, they have to take it to the conference for a pastor or someone to sign to, to verify, yes, I, I know this person. So it's, it's not much. We are also looking at other, other, other avenues. Actually, at the moment, maybe our, our, our admissions, uh, admission application form is actually free online. But if you want to come go and buy it, they, that, that's your own matter. But if you want to apply, it's, it's fully free online. So you don't have to pay anything. But for the one who wants to become a vice chancellor, mm -hmm. I uh, want to say bravo to him or her. <laughs> what he or she must do <laughs> is to study hard and to serve selflessly. And then to write. If pick up, try, find a a position in the university. You, you cannot become vice chancellor from, from, from somewhere, school. maybe from a bank or something. Mm -hmm. you, you, you must be a, a university, you must rise to the ranks in the university. So maybe the person can send me a WhatsApp later. All right. Uh, then I, will, I will coach them. <laughs> then just give out your number since. My you number? <laughs> no. You know, you know I've you changed my number two or three times mm -hmm. because sometimes, I mean, a lot of questions, a lot of things. And uh, so, no, 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 not yet. B but I can, maybe later. I am on uh, uh -huh. uh, uh, edu. I just created that just recently. They, 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 if you have any questions, they can send there. You can send them there? Yes. All yes. right. Yeah. Okay, so you've had yeah. Prof. Just send all your questions through yeah. that channel. Oh, or Facebook. I'm also on Facebook. Yeah. Okay. All right, thanks so much. Welcome. We are very grateful for yeah. the short time. Thank you <laughs> very much.
long for you. Yes, you know, I told her, uh, uh, so, you know, the traffic is, is quite uh, not, not, not good. But anyway, we've learned a lot today, yeah. and that is the most important thing. Thanks so much. God bless you. Welcome. And to you, my viewer, thanks so much for always making time to watch Kavri R. At least we've learned one or two things from Prof. Daniel Bidiako. Please leave according to it. And we hope God will bless us through the little effort we put into what we are doing. My name is Nana Akusia Buachi. Keep loving, keep keeping safe, keep being healthy. Celebrate that loved one. Please don't forget that. Until then, we'll meet next week, same time, 4 p.m. My name is Nana Akusia Buachi. God be with you. Thank you. changing lives.